What's up guys, Black House here once more with Let's Play Victoria 2 as the Chinese. In the last part, we got some glorious European land. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. Uh, we got some Europe land from Europe, the Europeans in great, the First Great War. We also gave Germany some more land in their, you know, in their nice new area. Uh, they, it can, okay, I've renamed it, good. And the Russians now disarmed, the trench disarmed. The Ottomans are sound. We're getting war indemnities now. That's the best bit. Italy did a damn lot. Anyway, we're going to carry on this part. It's mostly going to be building up the army again. And it's going to see what happens. Because the world is now going to change. Because we have probably caused a lot more chaos than I thought we would. Anyway, carrying on. Uh, let's upgrade this cement factory. Uh, let's upgrade the steamers because we're going to need them. A bit. Uh, small arms on the way. Come on, Pelagic Dragon Lights again. I'm surprised the revolution keeps going. Sea Lane Hunters, nice. Let's go for Guangxi, getting us some more steel. Uh, need more guns. Probably more paper would be good. Clothing. You're building something, you're building something, you're building something. Um, let's try and increase our share of the market of something. Something valuable. How are we doing on this? We're making 23% of the world's production. We don't really use clips anymore, though. Explosives might be nice. Making machine parts? Yeah, we could, let's make some more machine parts. These machine parts, they're going to be a lot of use. What's it say in the description, anyway? Very important tools for industrial plants, steel and coal. Steam is using rubbers over clippers. Hmm. Yeah, how are we doing on the army anyway? 27 divisions left to build. I know we lost a ton from that. We are actually bringing F1 home. It's going to be interesting to see how. God damn it, you can leave a bit alone. It's ours to conquer. Can we have some? Sure. Uh, let's send some to Transwell. So, this is one of the things about China. You may miss out on the race for Africa. Well, you will miss out on the race for Africa, let's be honest. Unless you cheat, that's cheating. But you're not going to miss out on much else. You will more than make up for lost time. Let's start getting some of the better stuff. Uh, let's work on some commerce tech. I mean, we've got some attention in Krakow. Seeds to burn right now. Because we are way behind on commerce tech. So that CSA lost more ground. Yep. They are now going to be a victim of Liberated Nation. And they've got Jacobins. <laughs> oh, <the> bourgeoisie! <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> they have no troops left. The USA can now just go and liberate all their cores if they wanted to. And they probably are going to. Directive on trade in the provinces. As a part of our government's past citizenship policy, soldiers of the Home Army have been ordered to willing to buy goods from Manchu traders. They're starting to aggravate already existing tensions in Huazhou as local non foreign traders feel the effects of government discrimination. Let's rescind it. Oh, the cloth factories. In Normandy. Normandy. There you are. It's a clipper fish now. Hmm, I don't care for clippers. That and it looks like. Yeah, it looks like. Do my name. Uh, that's. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, it looks like Normandy is. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. Well, there we go. Uh, Influx of Burma. Burma. Burma! Well, it's not like anyone else cares about Burma, so we may as well. Every time I hear that, I think it's the Lady Blue Peter song. If you've heard, if you know what I'm on about, then you'll know <laughs> what I'm on about. Because it's kind of ridiculous. 
I wish we could change the upper house. Let's get the liberals in. Because we don't really need the thing anymore. Let's get the tax efficiency up. Now it's literally just catch up. We've got the culture to do it now. Now we do on vacation. Oh, it goes about 1% a month. Shall we host a world fair? A delegation representing uh, the leading commercial and manufacturing interests in our nation has proposed holding a world's fair in our capital. Holding such an event would provide an excellent opportunity to showcase our economic capabilities and technological expertise to the West rest of the world. Yeah, when we're like miles behind in tech on them. And could significantly help our exports by polarized popularizing our goods on the world stage. Shall we provide support for this idea? An excellent idea, good chap. Let's do it. Shall we get you out? Oh god. Don't try as Germans lost. Why would Austria be doing a brother's war? Oh no, Austria lost. I don't. Is there a South German Federation in this game? Hey, prestige. I don't think there is. If there is a South German Federation, that's news to me. British Brazilian War. Oh, go on. Go on, Germany. Who's number one in prestige? The French. That's not gonna last much longer, French pants. Six or seven. Yeah, not, we're not that far away. BF miles. Austria, how are you holding on? Jeez. Austria is right on the edge, jeez. Who would go up if Austria falls? The Italians. The Italians are right on the edge. No, sorry, Sweden goes up. No, what? If Austria goes down, Sweden goes up. Okay. Italy's least about to become a great power. Uh, there's suddenly an issue with the... There's suddenly an American issue with the CSA. Yeah, they've gone for all that cause. That way on. Tax is up. Let's go for social science. There we go. Machine gun armament. Gatling guns. Now comes the fun part. Austria wants lines. Sure. I think they've fallen. Have they fallen or are they sticking lines with us? They're great power. Okay. Problem is, we're out of both sides, so if anything goes wrong, then that's going to go south very, very fast. That's going to happen here. That's the entire sphere. Come on, sir. Portugal, I want to get to bear. I'm not. Mm, it's about to do. The Ottomans are more to annoy the Russians. The Russians are about to fall out of sphere anyway. Fall out of power. Uh, fall out of the Golden Age. Which is a shame, really. The Russian never really did have a good run, did they? We're winning on instrument, I believe. That's right. Why didn't I look in the top left corner? The only thing we're not winning in this prestige. We're making the reform. Oh my god. Um, education. I'm serious about that. Education is the way forward. You live see up, you get your points up. I mean, we're at 1.3 from literacy in terms of points. In terms of research points. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it needs to go. What is it? sounds like a small amount. It is. It needs to go a lot higher. We do need to encourage more liberals as well. What have we got? Yeah, there's not a lot of liberals, so we're not going to get a lot of liberals. Persia. Oh, right, yeah, loads of coups. Nope, sorry, UK. Sorry, Brazil. The British Brazilian War. <laughs> to cut them down to size. Are you serious? To be fair, they are actually winning. We're now a major contender. Yorks about to look your opposite, isn't it? Right, have we got enough to make a new army? What are you missing? Four cannon? Two cannon. Was it two or was it four? I think it was two cannon? No, because then 
not actually make it to the back line is... Yeah, because it needs two more to cover the cab. No. Yeah, no. I think I've screwed up my order. Alright. You guys, uh, we're going to split this fleet into two. Grab you. Can't believe I'm naming this this, but... Because let's face it, it is kind of far west for us. Oops. We're going to pick up that group, and then we're going to ship them out over to our new home. Their new homes. Welcome to Britain. Yeah, that is actually quite a beautiful thing of beauty. We actually screw them faster than normal. We even screwed up the French. Alright, what we got? So, you two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Grab the other transport division. I think I'm gonna set. I think I'm gonna send this group over to France. Over to Normandy. So then, when things do go, if they go to war again, we've at least got something to defend. To be fair, the amount of forces they've given us—that's how helpful. We've got so much more we can recruit. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's go. Alright, Craftsman. Uh, you need one more, you're not gonna get through that. Let's get some more. F uh, let's get an explosive factory up here. Let me use that fertilizer. Uh, more food would be nice. So I'd want to go on. Let's get some more cement going as well. Looks like everything's in order now. Ah, you need to get some new stuff. Um, get some more. We're not selling a lot of wine, apparently. Yeah, not a lot of people are buying it. At least not buying our wine, should we say. Get more machine parts. Look at how many more use we go through the game. You are never going to run out of craftsmen with the Chinese. Now I'm literally looking for it all going, what do I want? Uh, grab that. Okay, so. Now it's easy way for more manpower! Yay! Naval bases! Ooh, I forgot about this. All three is on the way. It's not like we're going to miss out anything. Integration is a slow process, as they say. It's always breaking a naval base every single time you need to. Stop the amount of progress I made. It's kind of weird, I know every time it happens, we're basically the one who conquers most of China in the games. But then you get this and you realise, if they d hold on, this is how powerful they can be. They can practically destroy the world. And I haven't even gone over the, the limit yet, I could go and get more jingoism. Get more demand, sorry. And really go overboard and not wind down all the There we go, they I think I just got it all now. Yep, the USA is, re is now back in order. Well, I say that, and then, you know, there's this. Which still confuses me how it happened. Sweden! Hello, Sweden! Russia finally dropped. Ah, 
Ah, Russia. Well, let's give this smile on face. I'll admit that. <laughs> so, win the ball. What's that? Sense. That was on the group coming. Is there three and three the ones? A literary Association of Friends. An arts and letters club in a foreign country supports the cause of non foreign independence, kids, and is exchanging contacts with people in Jiujing. We could take steps and measures to isolate Jiujing from harmful outside influences by, for example, having a secret police press for incoming mail. This will of course cause a drop in relation with the foreign power in question. We will also simply ignore the issue and allow our dissatisfied non farm subjects to establish international contacts. But that might not be the best idea. It's the UK. Don't care. Don't care. Go screw yourself. Ah, uh, starting to see people going liberal. There's not a lot of them. Suddenly drowning in cash. What the heck's happened? Okay. So it takes down the middle. That's going to help me out a lot. Can't really afford to do it too much with the pool, but. Um. To be fair, with the way things have been going. I think now's time we start working on the next level of... Well, we haven't even called with Nail Base yet, so... Yeah. You can't build capital ships outside here. No, let's not do that. What am I doing? Go with... Um, business banks? No. Ad hoc, really, thank you. I think it's wasted some points, but... Points to spare! Haha! <laughs> That's one more liberals. Is that too much to ask? I don't know how much we're losing to migration. That's the problem. Holy crap! Sixty-eight thousand. Seventy, eighty. Oh god! The USA! Stop, please! Stop! I might go to war with the USA in this. <laughs> labor spies. Using labor spies and our factories may prevent strikes and disperse some of the trade union's power. Chances are that if our workers realize that we're spying on them. They will turn against us and start rioting. Rumours from other provinces about labour spies talk about this sometimes illegal but effective methods that we use to discourage further labour disruptions by agitators. Let's lower their militancy. Now, we're now getting the cash. We're lowering taxes, we'll take. We're actually in the bling. We're rich! We're wealthy until the end of the war indemnities, which will make us like 11,000 right now. Membership in the, in the International Olympic Committee. The combination of renewed interest in ancient Greek civilization and the idea of sport as an important part of social development has led to a French aristocrat, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, to purpose rev to propose reviving the Olympic Games as a way to promote international peace through friendly athletic competition between nations. Should that nation join the International Olympic Committee to organise the first games? An excellent idea, good chap! Even though I've just conquered half your land. Also, it's got loads of top guys on. Yeah, we're now the guy at the side's mount the garrison. Matt, uh, he's a man. What is this guy doing? He just sat there. So he doesn't know what he's doing. He's on vacation, obviously. More tax. That's a bit more. We are actually starting to make it easier on There's more admin efficiency. Play classical with theory. We are going to eventually catch up, that's the good news. The literacy is going quite fast now. This is just what we need. That's the end of our military development, isn't it? This is. Not a couple of guys coming through. We're missing two cav. 
Of all the things we're missing, two cav. Alright, you two need to manage up. Nice. Yeah, but then there's loads of six. Ah. I think I've loaded that wrong. All our groups need two more gallons each. Alright, we need to come back home for a bit. So apparently, Swift can't math. Um. Grab that. The thing is, it's like so far in between that I don't really blame myself for forgetting what the measurement was. I think I'm gonna have like another 3 on the works one. Yeah. You're not telling me with a straight face that that is a bad step. Let's get another entry on the way. There we go, an Archalypse. Took him long enough. We don't really lose anything for letting him succeed, that's the worst bit. And... There's not actually that many of them. <laughs> of course, the most threatening of Liberals, the Anarcho-Liberal Rebellion, with its... bugger all. <laughs> Good news, not in a, they're not in Beijing. Rather Gulin, which is... actually going quite quick. Hmm, perhaps we should upgrade the fort though. It's a 36 stack. It's not surprised we're actually losing that. Alright. It's hunting season. To be fair, Knuckle Libbles wouldn't be that bad. Actually, give us some. Um, it would actually help us because then we'd actually have votes going on. Really worth it. So at this point, we will turn off the. Um, uh, I'm very determined to give us that bloody thing, aren't we? I'm not even about pacing it, so. Yeah, we're outpacing the downtime, so. Which one's like this? Nope. You want access to bounce. You want access to fight the resilience. Yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> Saying that, it looks like the resilience are actually winning. We have ten battles, but can they even get over here? That's the question. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day where Britain would delve so low. Well, there goes like 10% of the army there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's just go up top and pop up window. And now, time to go up again. Run again. Alright, you guys. Transport division just got back. Transport division. I think it's best if I put you in. Put go in the channel for now. We'll drop off the first two. Actually, just go straight in the port. What are we doing? We are going through Suez, right? Yes, we are. Brilliant. Brilliant. Our base, uh. That's an aggro. Sure. No base, uh, on the way. And the ships are still coming. Can we actually build bigger ships over in Europe? We could if we wanted to. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that would be that would be like just 
IBM. We couldn't build them before, but thanks to an investment from Britain, we can. Is that good? Uh, where's our spare infantry division? You. You in there. Okay. Okay, let's go for. the inorganic chemistry. Actually, no, complaining about speed. Let's get railroads. We're gonna invest in ourselves. There'll be a new army done when he gets there. First to the Pole! The Royal Geographic Society has announced that an award will be presented to the first expedition that reaches the North Pole. Outfit one, we are going! On the way, lads. I really need to work on what my stack's actually going to be. I seem to be forgetting a lot. Alright, we'll have you man... Uh, like, we'll get work on a new stack, because we have... Oh boy, over a thousand to work through. There's another eight, which is one of them. Hang on. One six each, there's sixteen, um, so that's eight each, that's twelve, so. One too many. Two of you guys. Per and two of you per. Let's go like that. We're never gonna get them all built, but hey! <laughs> You can dream. What's your? We're friendly with you. Well, now we are anyway. <laughs> Just in time. No one really cares about you. So let's. Oh, this is unemployed. Let's. I've been around to all. Oh, I've been around to all workplaces in the city. But I just can't seem to get a break, sir. I wonder what to do. I cannot go home and let the grass grow around my feet all day. My family trusts me to support them, but what should a poor sod do when I know jobs available? The jobs scarce and credit is inv inversely plentiful. Many from the poorer classes are having trouble making ends meet. Uh, let's go for... It's in Normandy. Build logo reform. Why not? Oh yeah, because I was going to cause trouble with the UK. That's why. Hmm. Anyway, remember who actually did this? Oh, it's quite a truce with them. Well, no one seems to really care about them, apart from Austria, apparently. Hmm. So the North Germans and the Austrians having fun. All right, let's go over our factories again. Time. Every single time we pull them up, they get more. It never ends. Hey, prestige. That's what we need. Not. Um. Just. You know what? I'm gonna regret this. Upgrade everything. That was expensive. <laughs> Anyways, we're taking like five loads just doing that. How are we doing for the ones anyway? We're losing money now. Took us long enough. Apparently, we're not losing money though. Huh. I'm getting your army built up now. I kind of want to start getting Switzerland built up. But I mean, actually getting a point where we're neighbours to him. How else could we do this? Well, I know one thing we can do. We start working on that railroad. Aha! Timing! Alright, let's go for... You know, mm, clean coal quick. And let's get to work on our infrastructure. Which, you know, we got quite a bit to work on around our home. <laughs> look, look at how cheap! <laughs> okay, capitalists are awesome! <laughs> I just meant to see that quick! Oh, guys, beautiful! <laughs> what 
do we'll do this for a second ourselves. Ah, oh, you have it. Goes on here. That is beautiful. <laughs> Just <laughs> hey, there, there we go. They're going. They're going. Holy crap! I have a lot of capitalists with a lot of money. They're even around here. Jeez. Holy crap! Okay, that was unexpected, to say the least. But, folks, I have to call that apart there. Because I have actually been out of time. I can actually, yeah. Anyway, so, on that note, yeah, I'm actually going to call that out. Next time, let's play Victoria 2 as the Chinese. We actually are going to go... Shit, I'm not going Hell. Sorry, this makes sense when you... Anyway, uh, next time let's play Victoria 2, we're hopefully going to let our infamy burn down a tad. We're going to hopefully go to War of No Major Power. We're going to get our research in line. We're getting there now. It's going up. Uh, I kind of want to force more wars, to be honest. Anyway, I've been Luther Chaos. You've been you. Join me again next time more in the Maryland of China here in Victoria 2. Thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.